Bev, here we are at another Bev Krennic, the queen <laughs> of Cape Cods. Yes, there's a lot of them out here. <laughs> this is a beautiful house. We are over in Morningside Heights, and Morningside Heights was developed like in the 40s or the 50s, and they did it right. Yeah. Nice homes that expand. Right. And big yards. Yeah, the yards are all really deep here, aren't they? Very, very deep. This one is 185. Wow. We don't and you're it. on public sewer and water, so if you want a pool, you could do that. Sure. You could do a little baseball field or <laughs> yeah. whatever. And you have a covered patio out there, which is really nice. If it's misty like today, you could still have still your coffee and yeah. like that. This house, the basic footprint has not changed from when it originally got built, but they have opened up the whole second level. Mm. So that's a nice master bedroom suite or a teen suite or something like that. And this family kind of grew a little and needed a bigger bathroom. So they took what was a bedroom down here, mm -hmm. enlarged the kitchen a little, moved a wall, making the kitchen bigger and giving you a very big bathroom. You can turn around in this bathroom easily. Yeah, I, you're right. You're and right. it's really nice. And the old bathroom turned into a laundry room. So you have first floor laundry. You have a couple bedrooms on the first floor, plus this big bathroom. Mm. Easy front porch, patio. Very easy to maneuver for all ages who can't yeah, do steps. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really good. Fantastic garage that's quite full right now. Yeah. So it'll show you how much storage you can well, put in there. It's a double car at least, right? It should be, yes. Yeah. And the double driveway. Right. And um, lower level, great little rec room. Mm -hmm. Plus the laundry's gone now, so you have even more storage down there. It's nice and dry. Mm. They have resided the house. They've put on roofs. They've done windows. They've updated electrical, heat, hot water, you name it. Since they've been here, in about 10 years, they have done everything that's needed, and people just move in now. It's, you know, the other the thing I love about the houses in this area of this vintage, um, it, it particularly, is that you have these fabulous wood floors mm -hmm. that are just really gorgeous. I mean, everybody's going back to wood again. Yes. And the other thing, the little architectural details that don't exist in, in housing at this price in right. many places, like your arches, your, your doorways arches. have all arched. Yes. The, the dining area, mm -hmm. and it's set up nicely so that for whatever reason, if you need it to be bigger, you can you just flow right out here. Exactly. With the holiday parties or things. Mm -hmm. And all of the rooms in this house are nice sized. They're very, very comfortable sized. It's a great little house. The other thing I loved when I got here is that front porch. Isn't that cute? There's a little piece of it covered, yes. and then the rest is open for yes. sunshine. Right. Yeah, right, right. And that was added. That was not part of the original house right. or anything. And we are walking distance to um, Broome Community College, mm -hmm. or SUNY B now as it's called, five minutes into the interstate, it's wonderful. Yeah. It's yeah. so convenient. I go the back roads, hit it over to Wegmans in five minutes. Yeah, no, it's, it, so. it's a great location. This is really a, a super location. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.